As Russia has struggled to hold territory in Ukraine, the White House says the Kremlin is increasingly relying on the Wagner Group to recruit thousands of prisoners for the war's front lines. The casualty rates, uh, we believe, for uh, the convicts is extraordinarily high. As a matter of fact, what we think is that 90 percent of their casualties our convicts. Moscow disputes foreign tallies of the war dead, but it's clear Russia's convicts are dying at high rates. Ukrainian officials estimate that some 77 percent of the 38,000 Russian prisoners brought to fight in Ukraine have been killed, wounded or captured or have gone missing. They're just throwing them into this meat grinder. In the back. Russia dismisses most outside assessments of its war performance, insisting its troops are consolidating their gains. But experts say it is becoming difficult for the Kremlin to cover up the grim fate of convicts under Wagner commanders. They are calling these prisoners rifflers. Yuri Butusov, a Ukrainian war correspondent, told VOA that in just the battle for the town of Solidar last month, Russians were losing several hundred soldiers a day. Almost all of them were convicts. In order to attack the Ukrainian firing points, the enemy is using penal battalions. It is not a new invention. In Soviet times, Stalin also had them. Those World War II battalions consisted of Soviet Gulag prisoners and were tasked with the most difficult assignments, like breaking through intense fire without any heavy equipment support. Butusov says, in some cases, Russia's ill-equipped prisoners are used for similar missions, such as drawing Ukrainian artillery fire. When they are fired upon, the Russian commanders detect the artillery positions of the enemy. Olga Romanova, executive director of the civil rights group Russia Behind Bars, told VOA that prisoners who agree to sign six months contracts with Wagner are paid about $3,000 per month. But it's not the money that motivates them. Their main motive is, of course, to become free. So far, out of tens of thousands of prisoners recruited by Yevgeny Prigozhin, Wagner's leader and confidant of Russian President Vladimir Putin, only 106 were freed and allowed to go home, Romanova says. By the end of last year, the desire to go serve in Wagner diminished significantly among convicts. First of all, because of extrajudicial executions, unfulfilled promises and, of course, high, very high casualties. All of that, however, is unlikely to disrupt the Kremlin's plans to use prisoners in its geopolitical objectives, Romanova says. Prigozhin will squeeze out 20 to 30,000 more people out of jails, and then the authorities will start formal mobilization. In November, Putin signed into law a bill allowing mobilization of individuals with outstanding or unexpunged convictions, creating an even greater pool of potential war recruits. Igor Tikhanenko, VOA News, New York.